Okay, let's make this short and simple. I'm tired, by the way. I need some water. I need some water. Okay, let's go. Pearl has to be one of the most retarded, dumbass motherfuckers that I've ever seen on the internet. What he says and what he does is truly a mystery. Whether he's just retarded or he has a little bit of the tism or just a little bit of both. I mean, anything is possible at this point. You've all seen how he talks and how he posts and how he spurgs about dumb shit when there's no reason to or there's an easy solution to get away from the things that make him spurg. But he stays in the line of fire because that's his livelihood. To get triggered and bitch and complain and all that dumb shit. You know, that's usually how people go about things. But, uh, yeah, it's funny to, like, talk about this now. Considering the last videos that I made where I, I didn't even, he, this, Pearl wasn't even on my radar. He wasn't even on my radar, but somehow he, he's so, he, he likes being so triggered that he made me his problem for no reason. So, I mean, I guess this video has to be made so Pearl can know how much of a dumb motherfucker that he really is. And, uh, I guess that's pretty much it, huh? Is that enough of a roast? Should I keep going? Should I go on about his life? And how he has, like, nothing going for it? Working at a, what? gas station, a dead-end job with dead-end pay, always complaining about customers. <laughs> oh, baby. I wonder what it's like to deal with customers. Oh, good thing my job is chill as fuck. Get that good pay. Ooh, feels good, bro. Feels good enjoying a job and having no complaints and getting that good pay. Um, what else? I mean, that must feel like shit, especially when you spurg about somebody who probably has a better off life than you'll ever have. Let's talk about MacFag. Let's see, MacFag, the guy you always spurg about, he has a job, he's living life, he's enjoying whatever the fuck he does. Did I say yes? He has a wife who also works. I think they work together, not sure. A loving, wait, wife? Yeah, wife. And, um, yeah. What kind of timeline is it when MacFag has a better life than Pearl? Maybe that's why he always spurgs, because he's jealous. That's the only reason, right? That's the only reason Pearl would intentionally stay in the line of fire, which causes him to bitch and complain about MacFag all the time. The only person besides Fisho who has no reason to be the same as Pearl about MacFag. But they they will sure as hell both get on the fact that oh MacFag doesn't have a wife. <laughs> even though it's not even the case of like oh there's this one thing that happened that could potentially lead to the fact that MacFag's wife isn't real. No, that's not even the case. They have absolutely zero evidence that would assume anything of the sort. However, there was that one instance where Fisho and Pearl, both spurring at the same time, got blown the fuck out 
when MacFag's wife came on to voice to talk. And I think he was talking shit about the two idiots in VC who were screeching and hollering. It was really bad. <laughs> and since I brought that up, I'll just recap a moment where Pearl, the dumbass that he is, he's all like, well, if you had us muted, then how'd you know that I was spurging? How did you know, Luna? It's not like you could unmute me for one second to hear me fucking screaming like a monkey. How did you do that? Ha <laughs> ha, exposed, Luna. Fuck you, Pearl. Fucking dumb shit, motherfucker. <laughs> God, you're so fucking stupid. And you'll always be here. And you'll always be triggered. And I guess that's cool. You do, you boo. Because if you don't have this server, you don't have anything else. And that's a damn fact. Because you'll never get a girl like MacFag. And you can say anything you want about him. He's always going to have the higher platform. He's in a better situation. He's loving his life. He doesn't nearly spurg about you at all, even. Unless you go on your rampage and bring up his name and all that shit. But other than that, he could care less. He can live without. He could live without your dumbass always trying to start shit. For whatever reason. I mean, it's up to you, man. You do what you want to do. You clearly like it because you do it all the time. And uh, if I'm on your radar too, then I'm just fucking... I'll keep fucking with you. Until you finally realize that, you know, you shouldn't be doing this anymore. And that it's an easy solution to just walk away from it all. But you just... Obviously, you like doing it. Even if you made your own server... Despite the fact that you didn't leave the previous server that you constantly talk shit about. So either you're just a dumbass or you're just a little bitch who can't, like, move away from the problem. You're just gonna sit there and bitch and complain like a fucking woman or something. Jesus Christ. It's truly a mystery. Oh... It's truly a mystery, and, you know, it had to happen so much that I had to make this video. Like a DLC to the final weekend. Because, like I said, if you look back to that video, I didn't say anything about Pearl. But, apparently, in Pearl's logic, you, um... If you don't like somebody, and you hate somebody, and you talk shit about somebody behind their back... You'll still hang out with them in voice chat and talk to them in voice and play games with them and all that stuff, even though you hate somebody, which, you know, far be it for me to wrap my head around that logic, but that's apparently how Pearl does things. So that's why I had nothing to say about Pearl, because there was no problems back then. But in Pearl's case, that's how he deals with people he doesn't like. And that's that was back then. More recently, when Smash Ultimate comes out, who who tries to add me on Switch? Pearl. Huh. Why and at this point we already knew <clears throat> We already knew that he didn't he hated my guts. But yet, he'll still try to add me on Switch and be like, Ha ha, let's go on VC and play uh, Smash Bros, guys. Ha ha. And then, <laughs> he gets bodied in Smash every time I play him. And then that started a whole another thing, which was funny. Because it's that's what he does. He added me on Switch just to get bodied 
just to spurg about me bodying him. And uh, and I like how his his um his defense mechanism is like, oh fucking play me in video game, I'll fucking own you, dude, ha <laughs> ha. Because you know that's all that matters in life is I beat you in video game. So I can feel good about myself. My name's Pearl. I'm a fucking retard. <sighs> I'm just rambling at this point. It's ten minutes long. Is that too long? Nah, I'm ending it right now. I said what I need to say. Um, enjoy your server, Pearl. Even though you're going to stay in Dad Bear's server and continue to bitch and moan and complain. Um, that's it, I guess. All right, we're done. 11 minutes, we're done. This is just an afterthought. I'll put it at the end of the video. Um, because Pearl is always one to downplay people's lives and make fun of others and whatnot, especially MacFag and his life and his wife. Um, so I just wanted to say that. He can talk all the shit that he wants to if it makes him feel better. MacFag will always have a better life than Pearl will ever have. And I will have a better life than Pearl can ever imagine. He can say all of his childish remarks to him or me, but at the end of the day... Me and MacFag are enjoying life, and we have good jobs, and we're happy with what we're doing. And he has a wife. I have a girlfriend. Pearl, uh, what do you got, buddy? You got anything going for you, bud? I know it's hard to like find someone when you can't go outside, or you don't like going outside, or you just choose to stay in your little hidey hole. But for whatever reason, I mean, I really hope you find the girl, my dude. I, I think you'll be a lot happier. It really changes your perspective when you have somebody that actually likes you and looks forward to seeing you every day or talking to you through text or whatever. Uh, hopefully. Hopefully. I would actually pray that that happens to you so you can be... Uh, not so bitter about everything and trying to make fun of other people to make yourself feel good. But yeah, that's it. It's an afterthought. And that's it. I'm outie.